Hello guys, welcome back to the 7 Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily 7 Engineering videos. In today's lecture, we are going to differentiate between the yield strength and ultimate strength. But before going to the lecture, I would request you guys that please subscribe to my new channel. I have given the link in the description. Now to discuss the difference between the yield strength and the ultimate strength. Let's consider this is in a steel rod of any length and this is, this is the stress and strain curve that we will draw from this steel rod. And let's suppose this steel rod we put in the machine in a universal testing machine and there is some tensile load being applied on this steel rod. So let's suppose this is a tension load P applied on both sides of the steel rod and due to the increase in the load on the steel rod there will be some tensile stress is created in the steel rod and the steel rod will be subjected to some deformation. So there will be some deformation on both sides of the steel rod and we will have some stresses and strains on, on, in this steel rod. So if we draw the curve for this steel rod it will look like this starting from zero when there is no magnitude of load applied on this steel rod so it will start from this point so by increasing the load on this steel bar so we will have a straight line at the initial it will be linearly increasing increasing and there will be certain point where the stress will decrease and again it will start to increase so the point where the stress will decrease this point will be known as the yield point in the strength we have here Will, will be known as the yield strength of the steel rod. So after this point the stress decreases and it again after some time increases increases and reaches up to the maximum value up to this point and then again it decreases. So again it then it decreases. So this point where it reaches to the maximum value this is known as the ultimate point of the stress of the steel rod are the ultimate strength of the steel rod and this is the fracture point where the material the steel rod fracture at this point we call it fracture strength so we are interested only in the yield strength and ultimate strength so basically why this stress here increases from this yield strength after some time the stress try to increase why this increase happens because the molecules try to rearrange their self and becomes and, and try to take a new shape and due to this new shape of the molecules they have higher strength and that's why the graph increases now how we can here if this is the yield strength and if this is the ultimate strength so in our design we always use our yield strength value while we don't take our ultimate strength value in the design. So this will be the our factor of safety. This will be our factor of safety in our design. For example, our steel has yield strength of 40 KSI or we can say 400 megapascal. This is just an example. And here we have ultimate strength of 70 KSI or we can say let's suppose 700 megapascal is the ultimate strength so we don't take this value in our design but we take these values 40 kSi are 400 megapascal in our design so that we have our material factor of safety so that's the main difference that we always take the yield strength in our design in order to have factor of safety in our material during the uh, construction or during the construction phase or during the loading phase of the structure while the ultimate strength is the maximum strength of the material the net can take after which it will be broken down hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily civil engineering videos thank you for watching my video